Well, it's been a pretty dynamic day of weather across the entire nation, and the Contra Valley definitely fueling a lot of it as it makes its way up to the north. We're watching some of this moisture make its way in, talking with a little bit of production about this cloud cover pushing in from the south. Now, we're talking about upper-level winds and lower-level winds, upper-level moisture and lower-level dryness right now. Pretty dynamic as we're talking about some of this mixing. Yesterday, I said a west-to-east orientation of a cold front that's actually a stationary boundary enhanced with a lot more of these dry conditions from the dry line is shaping up for a pretty interesting cloud cover when we're talking about these temperatures and of course we're talking about some of the humidity right now dropping all the way down into those 50s that's where we're seeing those calm conditions right before sunrise then we skyrocketed way up there about a good 45 degree run up into those 90s record is 97 and then of course we're cooling off right now as we're starting to see those winds calm down and that cloud cover push out temperatures are pretty interesting here in the Concho Valley with the dryness as well as across the rest of the nation 89 here in San Angelo everybody else pushing some of those 90s still holding on to some of that heat other areas is in those 80s pretty good spread across the entire Concho Valley 81 in Sterling City 97 down there in Junction that's 16 degrees across the entire area and of course we're looking way hotter and of course we're talking about those drier conditions take a good look at these dew points and those humidity indices dew points are way below freezing marks down into those teens and those 20s 7 percent here in San Angelo but look off to the east where they seem to skyrocket and come back pretty stark delineation now this dry air is going to continue to fuel these storms up to the north. Right now we're taking a good look at this humidity as we continue to see more circulations pull more moisture up from the south and just before it pushes its way out more of it starts to replace it. Going to be pretty interesting while we watch this low upper level pattern continue to make its way across to the north. Now we're looking for the cold plunge in temperatures. Of course we see that little bit of activity off towards the west. Going to see some higher level winds as we make our way towards the weekend. That's where we could see some of that inclement weather where we're watching how this upper level pattern is going to interact with those lower levels as we continue to see some of this cold air make its way in by next week and of course that ridging right behind it to push us back up into the 80s it's going to be pretty fast pretty extreme severe weather outlook still targeting the same areas across Iowa and Minnesota they've seen about 15 tornadoes today and we'll show you in the radar in a second here look at the temperature spread across this area this is where it's pulling that cold air down and it's pulling that hot air up follow these temperatures as we get a good look at the satellite look at how it's pulling this moisture around that's where we're seeing this low level clouds this sustained moisture from the southwest is going to continue to pull that up towards that region and we're going to follow the thunderstorms as they make their way down this line now this is as about high resolution as I can get you'll see the moisture continue to push back from the southwest that's where that cloud cover is making its way in by about Wednesday afternoon that's when we could see a lot of this thunderstorm activity push in watch the rotation behind this it could be to the southeast and pretty severe and pretty quick that's how fast it's going to be then things kind of clear up so tonight we're getting down to the 60s still holding on to some of that cloud cover then tomorrow back up into the 90s and of course we're watching some of those pre rodeo conditions as we start to see some of this severe weather push in but we have our eye painted on some of this colder weather that could make its way in by the weekend with those rain chances watch how much this drops into the 70s into the 60s by the end of the weekend and by the time we start that fourth week of april we're already back up into the 80s stay tuned we'll mark the break you're watching ksat news at five